We are Mike and Taylor, and these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly everything we owned, moved aboard a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. Previously on Making Our Way, we set sail from Oaxaca, Mexico for a two-day and two-night jump across the notorious Bay of Tehuantepec. So we're leaving to cross the Gulf of Tehuantepec this morning, which is kind of like a little bit of a notorious stretch of water. Trade winds coming from the east in the Gulf sort of like funnel through a low part in the land. We'll get like gales and stronger, sometimes they'll even blow like hurricane force and it's kind of well known that they'll often blow like twice the speed of the forecast. So we should have a nice like 15 to 17 knots, probably dying, and then a motor. And while our weather was benign and the passage started off great, after nightfall on night one, small chaos started to ensue. Oh man, it's uh, 10.30 p.m. and our autopilot's been having issues. We got an alarm and I could just wasn't able to steer. Day two has been a motor all day long. One more night and then we'll get into Chiapas in the morning. Taylor and I were just talking about how we both kind of have some FOMO because we have so many friends that are crossing right now to the Pacific, to the South Pacific. And we got a bunch of friends who crossed last year and are already over there. And so there's kind of just like a take a right, keep going. Yeah, we actually just did a little video on our Patreon page about our plans and our decision making about uh, whether to cross the Pacific or not and you know why we made the decisions we've made. If you guys are interested in that, you should go check it out. I would really appreciate your support. It helps us keep making these videos, making them better. Everyone's going to French Polynesia, but we got a lot of really cool stuff ahead that I'm very excited for. Just as the sun went down that night, an incredible surprise started to charge at us from miles away.
insane end to the day and sunset with spinner dolphins. The amount of air they are catching. And they've been with us for like 15 minutes. You don't care at all, but your sister's about to blow a gasket. Though our autopilot had held through the entire second day of passage, just like clockwork, when darkness fell, the alarm started to sound again, and it could no longer hold course. We had a thoroughly exhausting night, using the autopilot when it would hold, sometimes for 10 minutes, sometimes for 5 seconds, sometimes for an hour, and taking turns hand steering in the total darkness for the rest of the time, with Mike attempting to troubleshoot and us both trying to sleep between it all. Thankfully, just as the sun came up, we arrived at our destination of Chiapas. Ooh, we made it to Chiapas. This is a stanky ass estuary. Oh my God. <laughs> it smells really bad. I think, I think these are like fishing vessels here. Maybe that's what it's coming from. We had successfully crossed the notorious Gulf of Tehuantepec, and after spending a year and a half here, we have arrived at our last and final port in the country of Mexico. Chiapas sits just a few miles north of the Guatemalan border, and the marina here is located in an estuary that houses the Mexican Navy and a busy fishing port and not much else. Our first order of business was to sleep which was actually more difficult than it might seem given the overwhelming and unrelenting heat and humidity here. Luckily, this marina features a pool, which we took full advantage of in the heat of the afternoons. Our next order of business was to diagnose the autopilot. After running countless checks on his own, Mike spent hours on the phone with an extremely knowledgeable consultant to talk things through with. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is really helpful. You guys, awesome for spending that much time on the phone with me. So, he didn't have anything like mind blowing for me that I could kind of haven't already figured out, except that, <laughs> I mean, it's basically so, it, it's any one of a million problems, but. Cool, okay. Bad solenoid is a possibility. And the problem with some of these things is like, like with solenoids going bad, like sometimes they work, they work, they work, they work, and then they just like don't, and then they work, and they work, and they work, and they work, and then they just don't. Well, that's kind of what has been happening. Right. Um, but another problem that could lead to kind of the same thing. Lucy, are you enjoying that plate of snow? <laughs> Frost from the refrigeration unit. Mike spent days trying to find the smoking gun. But because the system would work sometimes, and the error would only appear sporadically, being able to recreate or ID the exact issue was extremely challenging. Plus I made a bunch of room in the freezer, I bet. Shit. Penny. And when our best guesses were mapped onto available parts, we started to run out of options. So we're here in Chiapas and we spent the last like three days uh, attempting to troubleshoot the autopilot and we've uh, a conference with some extremely knowledgeable people. Uh, there's a consultant we've been talking to up in Chicago who's been helping us uh, go through like nitty gritty stuff um, who's been extremely helpful. Anyway, uh, the very short version of this very long story is that since we are unable to find a smoking gun and because this problem is so intermittent and we can't predict when it's going to happen because we don't know what it is and therefore we can't trust this system to work and continue to work, this 19 year old system, we have made the <laughs> difficult decision to replace our whole GD autopilot. 
But before we can place this order and get this thing on our way to us here in Mexico, we have to... And to like map out, so the, have to map out the entire, not the entire electrical system, but like the entire electronics electrical system. So everything from like plotters and instruments down to the electrical panel to all the instruments on the mast and every, everything. So all day yesterday and all day today, I've been downstairs working and I come upstairs and Mike is up here creating this. This is my second one. The first one I drew in crayon. <laughs> crayon? <laughs> crayon. 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 The crayons. <laughs> Sorry, I'm from upstate New York. Uh, he's gone full on Charlie Day. Take a look at this. Jesus Christ, Charlie. That right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail is getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look at the mail, well, this whole box is Pepe Sylvia! So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. It's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Pepe's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? Chain smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Hold <laughs> on. Full on Charlie Day. These things are hard to do by hand. I like, can't believe you've done this. Software that does it, and, and but I'm doing it. Must be nice. Pen and marker. Yeah. A bit dummy. Crayon. So it looks like a drunk third grader did it. But I sent it to this guy who's helping us, and I like I was like sorry. Cause actually, this is my second drawing. The first one is a freaking disaster. That's the one I sent to him first, and and he was like he was like totally cool with it. He was like, yeah, no, this is fine. Oh, he's like, how can you? I can't read my own writing. <laughs> uh, but he's, you know, he's Greek, so. <laughs> he's Greek. <laughs> <laughs> For him, it was like totally not a big deal. And he like, he literally like, I sent him this drawing, which I have here. It's a freaking disaster. Na, 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 na. So I send him this, and he starts talking to me about it. He like, complete, like it's completely normal. Like he's like, yeah, I see you got your rudder sensor unit here, and like, and then you got this thing wired over. But like, where's your N2K network powered from? And he's like, I see you got, you know, these things are down in your Lazarette. I think you're really gonna want to move. And I'm like, you could actually look at this and make any sense of it because I look at it. I'm the one who freaking drew it, and I look at it, and it takes me like 15 minutes to trace things and figure out what they are. That's what we've been doing. Well, that's what Mike's been doing. I've been doing zero percent of that. That's all Mike. Oh man, team. Anyway, so that's the bad news that we've been swallowing and wrestling with here for the last couple days. But I tell you what, the good news is we ordered ourselves an air conditioning unit. Where is that thing? Yeah, it should be here today. So we're gonna go check. But I, no joke, was working at my desk yesterday morning. It was like nine or ten like it wasn't even in the thick of the day and my computer just full-on shut down from heat like I, I couldn't even i can't work so that's like what we're talking about it's kind of real so we ordered a unit i don't know if it's gonna be like you know incredible but i hope it's gonna be a little bit of something because uh, the dogs need it we need it Oh, it's so close. It is? It's in Puerto Madero, which is like the other side of the estuary. Oh. Yeah, it's like in, in route. All right. We originally planned to spend just a few days here, but now we were settling in for what would end up being six weeks. Between placing the correct order with all its parts, waiting for it to make it to us, and then of course beginning the daunting install. Luckily, we had a rotating door of friends and buddy boats that we got to pass the time with here. And Penny even made some friends too. Lucy, are you gonna meet the kitty? I mean, Penny. She's like, called you by the wrong name. <laughs> she says, What are you? Explain yourself. Rosa, you want to come say Hi. hello to you? Hi, handsome man. What do you think? It's 
pretty cute finds. <laughs> and what's that? Look. I'm so amazed by this. Mom, can we have one? <laughs> yeah. yeah like, can we keep them? What do you think? It's kind of like a squirrel, but it's also kind of not. Go see Mike. Come on. Our dogs have never met cats because, uh, well, Lucy loses her mind anytime she sees a cat anywhere, like just barks and loses her mind. So she can't get close to a cat, but apparently Penny has met our friend, cat, and um, they're best friends now. Oh, Mike, the ball. Lucy, what did you do? Come here, Pen. Let's go home. Here comes Bella. Join us next time as we make the most of our time at the dock by exploring some incredible sights inland and getting a taste of some of the local flavors while we anxiously await the arrival of our new autopilot, but not without some hiccups. Today we have a little bit of good news and a little bit of bad news. The good news is that we think that our autopilot package has arrived. The bad news is that our little penny here's her little like skin infection problem seems to just be carrying on. So she's going back to a vet today. Honestly, this dog is a stage five clinger. Crayon. 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 Mayo. Mayo nails. <laughs> Mayo nails. <laughs> Crayon. <laughs> the man uses crayon. <laughs> to eat his mayonnaise. <laughs> the Museum Super of Crayons <laughs> serves mayonnaise. 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 <laughs> mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. We eat mayonnaise with our cryonnaise. <laughs> if anyone needs the electronics, like, you know, the N2K network diagrammed on their boat, I charge by the hour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, let me know. You can find him on it in, in his Etsy shop. He can frame it, give it to a loved one. <laughs> Makes great gifts. It's really, it's more art than actually functional. Yeah. It's not gonna actually be a good representation of your network, but it It'll will be- a be... creative representation. <laughs> it will be beautiful. If you yeah. close your eyes and picture something else. <laughs>